गाइज डू यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ टू रन पी एच पी प्रोग्राम इन वी एस कोड सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गाइज इन टू डेज वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू रन पी एच पी प्रोग्राम इन वी एस कोड सो एंटायर स्टेप्स आई विल बी शोइंग यू वन बाय वन सो डू फॉलो माई वीडियो टिल एंड सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग पी एच पी इन आर सिस्टम देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग वी एस कोड देन वी विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग सम ऑफ द एक्सटेंशन रिलेटेड टू पी एच पी इन वी एस कोड सो फॉलो माई वीडियो टिल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन योर पी एच पी प्रोग्राम सक्सेसफुली इन वी एस कोड सो गाइज लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द स्टेप्स फॉर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पी एच पी सो गाइज यू कैन ओपन एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट ब्राउजर एंड जस्ट टाइप पी एच पी डाउनलोड एंड गाइज हियर यू कैन सी द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट यू नीट टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक and now guys it will redirect you to download page of php and here you can see we have current stable php version so we have to uh, go for stable version and now we have different installer available so we will be take a windows download i will be clicking on this link so guys it has redirected me to this page and here you can see we have different binaries and sources release so just scroll down and here you can see we have a version of php so guys you can see it's showing a version of php here you can see we have thread safe and thread unsafe so we will be going for thread safe and here we will be clicking on this zip file so it will start downloading your zip file so let's wait for it so guys my download is done now i'm just extracting this file so i'm just clicking on this zip file and it has started my winrar i'm extracting using winrar so i'm just clicking on this extract to button and in c drive i'm just creating one folder php 8.3 Point seven, and I'm just selecting that folder and clicking on OK button. So, guys, my extraction is done. Now I will be going to that location. So, guys, in my C drive, I'm having this PHP folder. So, I'm just uh, copying the path of this folder because I have to set this to environmental variable. So, simply copy this path, and now, guys, search for env. So, here. Uh, you can type env and here you can see edit the environmental variable is visible just select it you can close or minimize remaining windows and now guys here i'm clicking on this environmental variable and here under system variable guys you can see there is a path variable just select it and click on edit button and now here simply click on new button and paste the copied path okay and now click on okay okay and one more time okay button so path is set guys now we will be checking whether php is working or not so just open your command prompt so simply search cmd and guys my command prompt is started and here i will be typing php hyphen hyphen version and you can see guys it's showing me my version of php it's not showing me any error that mean it's working perfectly so guys after completing installation of php now we will be moving to installation of vs code so for that guys again you can open your browser and there you simply search for vs code download and guys here you can see official website code.visualstudio.com you need to just click on this download link and guys it will redirect you to the download page and here you can see depending on operating systems we have downloads available so i am going to install it for windows so i will be clicking on this button as you can see it has redirected me to this page and at the top you can see the download has been started it will not take more time guys and you can see my download has been done now to install i will be simply clicking on this exe guys and i will be minimizing my browser and here i'm going to click on this run button now guys it's showing me license and agreement page so i'm going to check mark i accept and i'm going to click on next button this is a installation location if you wish to change you can click on this browse button and you can change i'm clicking on next button and guys here it's going to uh, show my vs code in start menu if you don't want you can just check mark this option i'm keeping default and clicking on next button and guys if here if you want vs code shortcut to be created on desktop you can just check mark this and this two option if you want uh, open with code option when you right click on any of the 
code then you can check mark this option so i'm just checking all these three option and i'm clicking on this next button is now here simply i need to click on install button guys it has started installation it will hardly take any time and you can see guys the installation is done now here it's showing me launch vs code if i click on finish button it will launch vs code so you can see shortcut created on desktop so let me click on this finish button so guys here my vs code has been started it's showing me welcome page now the third step is what installation of extension so we will be installing two extension one is php one is code runner so now let's go to this extension tab and guys here uh, we have to search for php extension so here simply i'm typing php and you can see it's showing various option we will be selecting php intellifence and here you can see we have install button i will click on this install button so guys my installation of php extension is done now i will be installing extension code runner so here again i will be searching for code runner and here i will be selecting this option and again i will be installing this code runner so installation of extension is also completed now i will be clicking on this explorer tab and here in guys i will be going to file menu for creating my project so file new folder option i will be selecting and then you can browse any of folder wherever you wish to save your program so on my desktop i'm creating one folder cs corner and i'm just selecting this option open folder it may happen guys it may ask you some permission so you can just uh, grant a permission so my folder has been open over here and now i'm going to click on this plus sign that is new file option to create a php file so here i'm giving name to my php file as hello and i need to provide extension so dot php and hit enter guys and guys here you can see your php file has been created now whatever program you want to write you can write i'm simply creating a normal hello world program just for uh, printing one message so here my program is done guys now i will be saving this program so you can press ctrl s or you can go to file menu and you can click on save button so now program is completed we will be running this program so you can click on this play button this play button you will be getting once uh, you in install code runner extension so let me just click on this uh, play button and boom guys i can see my expected output over here so guys this way you can run php program in vs code i hope my steps were clear so guys if you really like this video hit on like button and if you have any query guys you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries guys you can share my videos to your friends also that will help me a lot and guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes on my telegram channel you can join my telegram channel link of all my social media i have given in my description box i'm sharing lots of reels related to coding on my instagram you can follow me on instagram also and guys i have another channel code with sunita there i'm teaching coding in hindi if you are interested you can subscribe to that channel also and guys if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching my video i'll see you in my next video till that keep watching and keep learning guys